Hi there, it's Glenda from Fox Dollhouse and today I will be doing another doll review and unboxing of Philip Margrethe. Um, it's the Dutch way I pronounce it right now, Margrethe. Uh, so instead of the G it's more like a G. Uh, so that's how we name it in um, the Dutch language. But I think originally it's supposed to be Margrethe or Mar Mar Margrethe. Mar I'm not sure, it's a really difficult name. Alas, anyways, that's not the point. She is a gorgeous and beautiful palette doll and I have had her in a box for way too long now and I kind of wanted to um, dress up for the video and um, make it a lot of fun. And I ordered this dress not too long ago and I was like, oh wait, until I get it. I got it yesterday. <laughs> so um, I thought it would fit perfectly with her tartan style that's going on. Absolutely adore it. Um, at first I wasn't really that into her when she was released back in 2019. I think it's September? Not sure, I'll have to check. Um, but actually I saw some pictures of her on Instagram from people and um, I actually just really fell in love with her. And I actually, as you can see, <laughs> don't own a lot of blonde um, blue green hair dolls. Um, it did change over the few months, but um, oh. so I don't own a lot of blonde hair dolls. And this one has green eyes, and she actually really reminded me of myself. I actually have that hair color. <laughs> I dyed it black because I like the goth style a lot more, and I don't really like blonde with gothic clothing. That's just my personal preference. No offense. Um, and she's wearing Lolita outfit or Lolita inspired outfit. I love tartans and she has a very unique lip face up going on. I will show you guys a little later. And she has the cutest teddy bear with green lip curls. It is so cute and it's so Lolita Asian. I thought she would fit really well into my collection. So let's go through the unboxing process and I'll show you guys a little bit more about her and tell you some fun details that you might still not know. So here we have Margrethe her box. It has a very Christmassy vibe to it, in my personal opinion, uh, because of the green and the tartan, the lace, and everything you see on her box really reflects her style, her stock outfit. There is even a very small teddy bear next to the Palop logo, which I think is super cute. I feel like she would be a great Christmas present. So Margrethe, her quote says, tea time with my favorite teddy bear, the stuffy souffle like a teddy bear, Happily, persimmon with milk tea or wedding imperial, feel like so. She comes with this super cute teddy bear who is wearing a similar outfit as she is, made from the same fabric. And this teddy bear also has a ringlet curls, which I think is the super cutest thing ever. Um, it gives me old school Lolita vibes. It's super cute. I really, really love it so much. Um, so yeah, definitely my favorite thing to get with polyps is um, plushies. <laughs> she also comes with a pair of extra sleeves that you can um, let her wear. She comes with this lovely bonnet that is also decorated with ribbons and this very cute butterfly in the center. Bella Margheta, her eye color is a gray greenish type. The unique feature about her face up is her lips. She has this white lip carving um, going on that you can just slightly see in photo and video. It's very difficult to capture. But overall, her face up is very soft, it's very natural and plain. Uh, and I really love her face up. I mean, the eyelashes and the eyebrows, everything matches very well. Her hair color is platinum blonde, it's a little um, stiff, the hair is a little stiff because it's thick, the thick braids, but the wig is quite nice, you can see a little of the netting on top as you just saw, but uh, other than that it's quite good. I really like this small heart, made with love, so cute. So the color is detachable and she is just wearing like this big bow around her waist which also has the same um, um, accessories attached to it, a key and a small heart. 
and her dress is just very big and poofy and it's so super cute and it's so nicely made i think um, it is really easily one of the best outfits i would have seen come around the past few years the quality is just very nice i also really like her shoes but these are just some type of plastic ball that has been reused quite a few times so let me know what you think of her in the comments down below and here she is out of the box and she is so cute and I'm actually <laughs> really much in love with her she fits so well into my collection uh, she is so cute and her outfit is such a great quality the fabric and the lace it is very nice and I think the design is really great and um, absolutely love it I mean if you love gothic lolita fashion if you have a thing for Thornton definitely a girl you should get and um, she is so cute and I really hope that I may be able to change her mind to get her as well and uh, I really hope to see some more photos of her on social media I would really love that because she is super adorable I mean <laughs> oh downside of wearing a big petticoat in the house she is so cute I mean it's ooh, look at her and there is so much detail going on and the teddy bear it's so cute and she looks so happy I'm really surprised I mean in the box I've been looking at her because I got her I got her around March and I just unboxed her so she's been in the box for about two months and I had some other dolls coming in that I wanted to unbox first and do a review about but I just didn't have a lot of time to do everything I'm still on a very much backlog of editing um, videos as well as uh, pictures as well um, but I need to redo my cabinets so that I can fit more polyp dolls in it because um, I still have a lot of polyps on the way and I really want to rearrange them very nicely I think I will put her here because these are all my dolls with bonnets <laughs> so I think she will fit very nicely I think I might switch her out for this one I'm not really sure yet where I want to put her but I need to do I need to redo some of the shelves because um, right now I cannot fit all of them in because uh, when I did it I didn't calculate that some of the dolls are actually have like like for example these all have very high bonnets going on so I need to adjust the placements a little bit for her to get a more proper place and she really deserves it and I think the teddy bears is so cute and that it also returns into the teddy bear plushie and I think it really I mean I, I, I think it really fits with the overall look so I would definitely recommend her she is super cute her hair is also very nice it's not that soft it's a little strawish hayish but I, but I think it is also meant to be like that um, the color is really nice and again I mean the stock outfit is just amazing there are some loose threads here and there but that's not really too bad I mean it's also a little bit the look of the, the stock outfit that, that they're going for so super cute so I hope you guys enjoyed watching another unboxing video of mine um, Please let me know down below in the comments what you think of Philip Margrethe. <laughs> Margrethe? Margrethe? Please let me know how you guys pronounce it because I think in English it's a really difficult name to pronounce, especially if you're Dutch and you're used to the, to the G being a G. But that's the same as for my name. It also starts with a G, but you pronounce it as Gl, as in Glenda. So, <laughs> uh, very interesting. Um, I think Glenda would actually be a really cute name for her, but it's a little weird to call one of my dolls after myself. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to rename her. I do think I will keep her in her stock outfit But I will definitely be trying to look out for some of these type of outfits because she is super cute in it And it looks really great on her So thank you guys so much again for watching and see you soon on a new video